Hi, good evening. I just wanted to give you some feedback on um, your one step equations balancing the hanger. Um, so this one here, you can see that the triangle is here and we can see that the blue square is here. We notice obviously that this must be a little bit heavier. So when we're thinking about a hanger, we think about balancing. You don't want to put something on one side that's heavier than the other side. So it says, what is one thing that must be true about this diagram? So the first one says the square and the triangle weigh the same. So we can see clearly that these two do not weigh the same. If they did, they'd be balanced equally. The next one says the triangle weighs 10 ounces and the square weighs 6 ounces. Now that was picked by a lot of students in here and that's why I actually created this video is because you do not see any weights on either one of these, the triangle or the square. So you really can't say even though yes, I agree that the triangle does weigh more. You can't say that it's 10 ounces versus six ounces. So the correct answer is the triangle is heavier than the square. So that one is correct, okay? The next one I wanted to jump to is question number five. Um, as you can see, it says that it's balanced, okay? So whenever we see that it is balanced, we should know that this is, means that we can put an equal sign here, okay? So we know that this side equals this side, okay? So we know that it should all equal eight. So every single one of these can be correct if we were just looking at the eight. But remember, we need to talk about what this operation is here, okay? So we see that we have a three and we have an X, okay? So what we're gonna be doing is we're just gonna be putting it together and the way that we put it together is by using um, addition. Okay. So the only one that makes sense is X plus three equals R eight. Okay. The last one I wanted to go through because it was missed a lot was this one where we had to match each hanger diagram with the correct equation. So again, I'm going to go back and make sure that you understand that all of these mean equal. Okay. Imagine that these are straight lines, of course, here on the equal. Okay. So we should know that all of them obviously equal six, okay? Some are written with the expression on the left and the answer on the right, um, but this one is the answer is on the left and the expression's on the right. That actually does not make a huge difference, okay? Um, but for this one, it actually does. It should give us a hint that this one and this one are matched up together. So we see that this is six, equals something plus one. And in this case, if we wanted to, we know that Z would go in here, okay? The next one is um, what operation is going on here. And just like we did in the other one, this means that this is addition, okay? So this would have an addition sign, just like this would have an addition sign. So again, the one that we would pick is uh, y plus three equals six, okay? So this one matches up with this one. Now this one's a little bit different because it has how many x's? It has three x's. And what operation can I use? Um, I can use actually multiplication here. So this becomes three times x equals six, okay? So that is why this one matches with this one. So if you were doing it, you would um, obviously put them together just like this, okay? And you would see how they would match up. So that was just three of the questions that I did see were missed the most and I wanted to go over. Um, please make sure that you go through this entire um, lesson, okay? You should be answering all questions, one through um, actually 13 and then 14 is obviously visiting a uh, video. So you can see that, but that is the end of my video for tonight, reviewing what you were supposed to do today. Um, I am, um, checking your grades regularly every single day. So if you didn't get it done, please make sure you get it done as soon as you can. Have a wonderful night and we'll see you soon.